You know the old expression, when in Rome? Well, UW Lacrosse football is about to experience that for themselves, as the entire team will be going to Italy later this month. And as News 19 Sports, Colton Emsweiler explains it's more than a sightseeing tour. In just over a week, Eagle football players and coaches will be wheels up and headed to Europe as they make a trip to Italy. Something that took many months to make happen, but one that head coach Matt Janis feels is what UWL is all about. The culture of our program is the experience and, and using football to create a, a wonderful uh, four years in college here and it obviously it ties into our city, our university. To be able to take our kids uh, overseas and be able to show them this is so special and so meaningful. While there, the team will play two games against amateur teams based in the Southern European country, as well as a joint practice with Guelfi Firenze in Florence, who are the reigning champions of the sport in Italy's highest level of competition. A business trip for the boys from lacrosse, but one that they aren't going to forget. Realistically, it's going to be a, a lifetime uh, experience for these guys. It's going to be a one-of-a-kind trip. I mean, they get to go 85 of their teammates. I mean, they're on the plane together. They're traveling all over together, uh, especially us as Americans. Can't even fathom how old some of the stuff is that we're going to see. But the reality is, is the type of experience that, that these guys are going to have is going to be just so, so special to them. Many of the players have never left the country, and the bonds they've made will only grow on the other side of the world. Uh, it's going to be a new experience. I think it'll be really fun. Uh, I get to do it with all my brothers, and it's going to be super fun. Uh, yeah, it'll be different. I think it's good for us to especially get some extra work in now, like uh, we wouldn't usually get to do after spring ball. So I think that's going to be really good for the team. But still being college students, there's stuff to learn, especially since the trip came as a shock not too long ago. Um, it was awesome. Uh, they were surprised because uh, we didn't know about it until uh, right after the season, so it's just going to be a great experience. I hope to learn uh, just a little bit more about their culture. I don't know a lot about uh, Italy, so it'll be great. It'll be a great experience. And Italy is known for many things that football players love, most notably the food. Well, I think I've got to try the pizza and pasta everywhere I can. Um, I had gelato recommended to me by some family who have been there, so I'll have to try that. A successful trip for the team. Uh, growing as a football team, growing closer as brothers, um, and yeah, that's just about it. Having a great time while we're over there. But when they don't have the pads on, the team will be on the road visiting places like the Coliseum, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, as well as another country altogether when they set foot in the Vatican. For News 19 Sports, I'm Colton Emsweiler. Thank you, Colton. Well, Coach Janice says the NCAA limits them to 10 practices in the spring, but this trip allows them to have 10 more, and some which will take place in Italy like you just heard.